Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. And earlier this week, the one and only Graham Stephan put out what I consider his OG kind of message, right? Blocking and tackling all of these things. And uh, I work with another millennial. His name is Millennial Mike. And uh, so I sent him this video and said, hey, let's let's rap about this. And uh, he's created some stuff for us to react to. So thanks for doing all this. Yeah, no problem. So in this video, Graham Stephan did uh, release a video. It was like how to become a millionaire in 10 years. And he lays out this long path of investing and other things that you can do. But really what we kind of wanted to hone in and focus on here was the real estate advice that he gives. Because it almost sounds a little familiar, like I might have heard it before. Like he's sort of saying some of the same stuff you might have heard on this channel. So, Mike, you ready to watch it? I uh, I look forward to this. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Third, once you have enough money saved up, I would highly recommend you either reduce or eliminate your housing expense altogether by doing what's called house hacking. This is where you buy a multifamily property like a duplex, triplex, or fourplex, and then you rent them out while living in one of the units. Typically, when you do this right, the other units will pay for your entire cost of living, allowing you to stay there for free while getting to buy a property at the exact same time. Instantaneously, that could free up your entire housing payment. And just by saving that 20 to 50% difference, you're going to be on track to a million dollar net worth that much faster. And fourth, if you have an interest in house hacking, you could repeat that process every 18 to 24 months. For example, banks allow you to get a low interest fixed rate loan as a primary residence up to four units as long as you intend to live in the property for the first year. That means you could buy a cash flowing property, move in one of the units, wait for another one to come along, buy that, rent out the previous unit, and start the process over again while gaining equity and cash flow at the exact same time. Or if that's not your thing, at the very least, if you do this once, it's possible to reduce your housing expenses significantly so that that way you could invest the difference. If you're able to save up $50,000, you could use that to buy and renovate a $250,000 two to four unit building. If you find the right deal, a strategic renovation should be able to increase that property's value to $300,000 and all of a sudden you've doubled your initial investment. All of a sudden, if you're able to replicate that strategy every 18 to 24 months, you could reach $1 million a lot faster. Okay, so Mike, uh, did we just did we just discover Graham Stephan's buy box? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's awesome. So again, Graham Stephan, um, somebody I look to up to admire, and when he does these uh, kind of the OG Graham, I, I definitely check him out. So thank you for doing that. Yeah, I think there's a lot in there, right? When when if I was going to do this over again, right? If I had a time machine and could do it over again, I would I would house hack uh, at 20 years old. I think I had enough. I had a I had my credit was okay. I had enough saved up. I could have house hacked, and it blows my mind to think about if I could have house hacked a fourplex where I live in the Bay Area, it would have been life changing. I could I could have retired before thirty, which is when I actually started. It's kind of wild to think about. So again, house hacking is uh, I call it the cheat code to wealth. I should actually correct that. Dion calls it the cheat code to wealth. I have stolen that, so now it's ours. I guess no, it's his. Uh, and then. The other thing to think about is what Matt has given us. The lumberjack is kind of the cheat code to wealth on steroids. And there's a there's something he talks about the four three two one plan, mm -hmm. right? Buy a fourplex, then move to a triplex, then move to a duplex, then move to a single. You do that inside of a decade, um, which you can do easily. Uh, you will likely be a millionaire, and mm -hmm. you likely will be financially independent as well. So I think house hacking is absolutely a key. Uh, for anyone, you know, getting started. It's it's one of my financial regrets. And then, yeah, what you heard in Graham's story is a buy box. It, it was focus. It was review. It was discipline. You know, so um, yeah, a lot of new investors get this wrong. They're, they're so excited, but they're not focused, right? You got to, you got to get, you got to get like a sniper, not a shotgun. You got, you got to get laser because you got to learn, you got to get experience and you can't, you can't learn real estate by looking at San Diego and LA and Long Beach and Orange County. It'll be like, ah, uh, crazy. <laughs> so, uh, it was nice to hear Graham do that. And again, I think you're right. I think anybody, and the other thing about house hacking that I loved you talked about is it's not about iced coffee, right? Cause he's the big, you know, don't drink coffee guy. The biggest thing you need to do is you need to go look at your expenses and go whack the biggest expense, which for most of us at that age is housing. I, I, I love that, right? It's it's um you know, go tackle the big expense. And again, Graham's um, you know, he's amazing. So very cool. Yeah, so I did think it was interesting. So I watched the video and I'm sitting there and he goes, 
you know, if you find yourself a $250,000 property that with a strategic renovation could be worth $300,000 immediately after, and it's a two to four unit size building that you can get preferential lending by moving into one side and then repeat the process every 18 to 24 months. I'm like, dude, my guy here, uppercase G, just gave us his exact buy box because it's with that exact same consistency. I can rattle off mine. You can rattle off yours. And I don't know if he... I mean, I'm sure he understands the concept of a buy box. Maybe he doesn't use that term, um, but I don't know. I mean, I've watched a lot of his videos. I don't know if he's ever kind of given it quite as concisely as that. Just here's what you do. Da, 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 da. There it is right there. Yeah. Um, like Graham, I house hack and I bought myself a duplex. Um, I've also used strategic renovations to improve properties and things like that. So it's a lot of really good real estate advice that he somehow <laughs> squeezed into 90 seconds. It's quite impressive. So. Yeah. Uh, Mike, do you have any other advice that you would give somebody who's trying to get start, started as an investor? Yeah, again, um, actually, you know what? Let's make this easy. These are my seven rules for everyone, new investor, homeowner. We'll go through them very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Number one, and this is where a lot of people fall down, focus. You need a buy box. That buy box, again, we have a video on my, we have a playlist on my channel called Deep Dive. The very first video. And that is me doing an, uh, 90 minutes with students on the, what is a buy box. Watch it. Number two, daily discipline, 20 minutes a day, seven days a week. This is not six pack abs on Saturday while eating pizza six days a week, every day, grow your network, <laughs> right? Two new people a week. For most of you, that should be three or four, uh, four learn average. It, this is a skill we're learning. It's about learning average. Then you only do good or great. I have told you Recently, good left the building. We are only doing great deals. We don't know what's going on, so only great deals. Number five, bad things happen. Sorry, learn and move on. Six, this is not get rich quick. This is a five to 10-year commitment. Get rich for sure, not quick. And then finally, also where lots of people fall down and lots of you on YouTube fall down is audit your personal network. This also includes the YouTube channels you watch. If you are watching YouTube channels that scare you, leave you stressed, after you've watched their stuff, that's a choice. That's on you. Again, it is very clear to me that negative channels grow. Negative channels get paid. I won't go there because I don't believe it. Um, but a lot of you are watching. The numbers don't lie. And some of you need to audit your network. I would dare say some of you need to block freaking channels. You need to block these channels that are distracting and causing you not to do the work. I can't promise great deals. Never would. But I can promise you, you won't get them if you watch fear porn, mm -hmm. but if you do the work, you have a chance. You, you miss every shot you don't take. I'm not telling you to buy. I'm not telling you to sell. I'm saying do the work. Yeah. Human beings have a natural proclivity towards something what's called negativity bias. If you've never looked it up or researched before, do a quick Google search and you realize why every single major news company that's ever existed leads with negative news titles. It's what gets eyeballs. Doesn't necessarily mean it's what's actually happening, but it's how they make money. Um, if you haven't already, do like the video. Leave a comment down below with how you got started investing in your first rental property. Was it a house hack? Was it just investing? Definitely, I would be curious to know. Um, uh, other than that, Mike, the only thing I think we have left to tease is we're going to be doing a deep dive next week on out-of-state investing. Much requested. Yeah, this is probably the number one request I get is, hey, Michael, I live in an expensive part of town. Been there. Know that story. Uh, as do you. And uh, I want to uh, I want to invest out of state. How do I do it safely? And again, I think a lot of people get burned because they 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 see somebody on social media talk about a forty k house somewhere, and they go, "That's cheaper than my car," and they buy it sight unseen almost. Right. So there's certainly a, uh, lots of wrong ways to do it, but there are right ways. So I'm lucky enough on this channel to have amazing relationships with folks like yourself. Uh, there's another gentleman joining us, Brian Adamson, who also does out of state. Uh, I want to have a, multiple voices on this one. We are actually going to start at 9.15 uh, instead of 9 because Brian is leaving an event, but he wants to... He, I, I wanted, he said he could make 9, but was unsure, so we pushed it back 15 minutes to give him some time. He's in Florida, so it'll actually be 12.15 for him. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be amazing. Uh, you've, you've done a great stuff in my course. People love that out-of-state stuff. That probably most questions in the Facebook group, which you're a part of, which I tag you on all the time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I look forward to it. I look forward to the deep dive. And again, deep dives are something I give to my students on Saturday, uh, but I give it to the entire YouTube world on Sunday. This is not like I'm hiding it behind some paywall or you got to be a member of this or that. It's like, nope, I do it with my students so I can control the trolls. 
And uh, then we give it away on Sunday. So I look forward to it. Thank you for giving me some time, you know, an hour, hour and a half next Saturday. Greatly appreciated. Um, where can people find you? Yeah, if you're interested in learning all about out-of-state real estate investing, first and foremost, I'm in Mike's course. So if you have the one rental at a time course, there's a great seven or eight part video series in there where we go through everything. Um, or if you just want to find me on YouTube or Instagram, just type in Millennial Mike and I should pop up. There you go, buddy. Thank you very much for all you do. Take care.